Hi guys, it's Mix from the Mix Creation. In today's video, we are going to look at uh, the loneliness in the Gulf countries as a migrant worker. Remember, when we are talking about a migrant worker, uh, we, we may not specifically mean people who are bad though, but we are looking at ourselves as people who are coming in the country to look for what we call a living. To take care of our families, to take care of our mothers, and we can see that we can also elevate ourselves uh, statistically in, 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 in that sense that I can say. Well, in today's video, we want us to share and try and see what are some of the challenges that we get to face as we are in these Gulf countries? When I talk about these Gulf countries, uh, we look at Bahrain, we look at Kuwait, we look at Jordan, we look at Saudi Arabia, we look at Qatar. All those make up what we call the Gulf Peninsula. And each of these countries, if we may say, all of them have what we call different challenges. They have their own challenges in their way or the other. But remember, as we are coming to these countries, we definitely have a lot of ex expectations, which sometimes the expectations we have versus what we call the reality, we get fine. And uh, what we see on TV, what we might have heard of, in one or the other, may not seemingly be that you expect, or to some extent, what you expected is what exactly you find. That can be another scenario, or that can be a different case in one way or the other. But let us try to talk about what we call the expectations first as you are coming. Remember, some of us come, or some of you come through what you call recruitment agencies. And some of these recruitment agencies, they are making money in one way or the other. So they will promise heaven and heart. You will find whatever you have to find. You will find this, you will find this. You get so much excited in one way or the other. Sometimes we even fail to pack what we call the essentials, because we are being promised at an event. But remember, when we reach to these countries, much as we come to earn a living, much as we come to make the money, we do not find exactly that what we expect. But remember, Still much as we do not find what we expected, it doesn't have to take us aside. It doesn't have to put you down. Because if you definitely you know your goal, your aim, why you came to this country, definitely, you just have to uplift yourself just within days that you get rich and see what is happening. But remember still, you learn a lot of things. You get to learn a lot of things. You need to learn. Self skills that you do not have in your country. Maybe it might be with a group of people you are living with. In case they're very good particular groups. Because we have different nationalities all together that uh, we get to meet. And to you or to me, what does it exactly mean that you either copy what you find with, in that group or you, 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 you revert to it all, you don't copy anything. You can decide to discover new values for yourself, for your life, to move on. Those skills will help you so much to move on, to elevate yourself, to make you stronger every single moment of day that you get to live. 
the workplace, workplace ethics, it's not what we expect. Life is a little bit different. When you came as a security guard, the security you're doing here is not the same security you're doing at you're doing at home. Or you might have seen your fellow people do, your fellow friends that you left home are doing. But much as may be different, some people may take it as that a mere piece of work that you're passing time. No. Still there are some practically there are some skills that you definitely get to learn. And it also as a job or also it has its own experiences or it has, it has its own uh, lessons you get to learn. The challenges still on the same job. Wherever it may come from, Ghana, Sierra Leone, we may come back, we may come from Kenya. Each country that you get to come from, definitely your main cardinal reason why you come to this country. You have to choose between the two. You may come to this country, Gulf countries to stay forever, rest of your life. Some may say, I'm going to make a family, if at all that's your wish. Some may say, I'm going to make out money. I'll move on and do something better for myself and my country. Some may say, I'm coming for education. It can be there. After a given period of time, after working, you can try to see to maneuver how better you can go in the system. Some say I'm coming to have career development. That is also, it may be to some group of people. But all those stand within what we call the challenges. And remember, out of the challenges that we get to, to find solutions. We try to, we get to find out what should we next? What am I supposed to do? Which way am I supposed to take? Which path am I supposed to follow? And that is exactly what is. Remember, when you come to these countries, no one wants to know about you. It's all about you. It's all about yourself. You did not come with anyone. You did not come with a family. If you're so lucky that you have your wife, you have a job and your family, your wife and family are here, that's well and good. But still, what I have to let you know it that you also face some kind of challenges because the cost of living, the standards of living and over going to be the same like in your country. If you used to spend one dollar in your country, you may find you spending more dollars or additional three dollars on the one dollar. So meaning that if you are spending one dollar and additional of top of four dollars added, that means you have spent five dollars which is quite very big. Remember, we have a lot of expectations. We think we'll be sleeping in good rooms. We'll be sleeping in good accommodations. But it's not the case. You might have come as a cleaner or technician, a security guard, or a plumber, a carpenter in any way. If you're so lucky enough that you find that company that is good, it will be good you will have a little bit similar to what you expected. And when you find that company that is not good, you just have to see how better you have to move and make yourself uh, up every single moment of day. Make yourself stronger, that you get to, to, to try to elevate yourself and do uh, what brought you in this country. Yes. We face challenges, for example, savings. Yeah, most of people may not save, actually. Because of the theoretic skyscrapers you find in the country, the beautiful things that you find, which are damnly a little bit expensive. So that one comes back to the mind of you. What do you need as a person? What do you want to be as a person? Where do you want to go as a person? Those are all, all questions that are just within individual minds in one more, the other. We might find good people that we can learn from. We may find be, um, bad people that will turn us down. That is all we get to find 
when we come. Because remember, we are meeting nationalities from different uh, countries, different nationalities from all over the world that have also come to, to see they can have bread on the plate. Again, something that people do not look at, one, we all look at the rest. People also don't so much try to consider what we call the weather. You may find the weather you have here is far different from what you have in your country. Right now, I will tell you, it's summertime. It gets a scorching hot sun that you cannot move outside. You cannot move. It's so scorching, very hot, scorching sun, heat. You cannot move. This has deterred very many people away, especially if your area of work is from, you have to work from outside for long hours. So that means you'll be internally, physically, or emotionally be affected in one way or the other in that matter. Some of these countries look a little bit smaller. They may look a little bit smaller. But moving from one point to another, it may be a little bit very hard for you. Depending on what kind of schedule that you have and what kind of work you have or what you're doing at one or the other. You may not have days, you work from January to December. That is also there. Some people do. Some people do get in that. You cannot revoke. You cannot get over, get over your boss. Because what he needs to have is to make money out of you. And that is the reason why he gave you the visa. But let this not put you down. You as a person, you know the inner you. You can try to get off yourself and move to whatever you want to do or what you want to do at a given period of time. Weather becomes a little bit questioned in one or the other. Which some people may not go to, to live with the weather itself. When it comes another challenge is food. Food becomes a little bit very hard. For you to save, you may not eat need, you may not eat what is required of you. You have to improvise in one way or the other to try to make up a balance of that deity so that you can make the body live and you can make the body have that energy. Some of you are medical also, much as medical may be a little bit free, but remember, some may not have what we call the, the requirements for them to go to have the medical. It may be depend on the company. Then still something that we need to know is the transport, transportation. Transportation is a little bit very expensive in these, some of these countries. Moving from one destination to another, it may almost cost, to some extent you may find that it's costing maybe a 5 kg kilo of sugar, which is an equivalent in your country. So it becomes a little bit very hard. Anyway, I wanted to share with you and try to, you definitely try to move around as you try to see some of some of how these countries get to look and how they get to prepare themselves in one way or the other. But now, out of this that we're talking about, I think it makes you to build yourself and know what is the next step, what should you do, what you're going to do, and what are your plans. Make sure, doing whatever kind of plans you have, you make sure that you know tomorrow you may not be here. You have to be home. Your family will have need you or you'll have to see your parents. But how are you going to say to yourself, it's kind of very important. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for always supporting this channel. Remember, it's Max from the Max Creation. If it's your first time to come across this channel, by the way, consider subscribing, support this channel. It's the only way that you'll always be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much, see you again in the next video.